Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On. Let's talk to Captain Frost Gonthorn. My ship is free, and its course is yours to plot, my friends. Were it not war sworn asking, I wouldn't sail such treacherous northern waters or set foot on an island so long forsaken. But for you, I'll go. I'll go. Well, good. Uh, war sworn. Some years back, I caught the eye of a pirate lord named Darius. Nearly burned, murdered, and thieved me out of business. I called on the war sworn, and it took but three of them to hunt down Darius, recover my cargo, and save my hide. And this ship? The stalwart, she's called. A worthy vessel. Eamon's Isle. You'll find no taverns with warm fires or feather beds on that rock. Stones and bones and rot is all. Captain Gonthorn. Captain, trader, and a friend of the war sworn at your service. Okay, uh, when can we sail? Whenever you wish it, friends. You need but give the word. Alright, then let's, uh, let's rock and roll. Let's go now. Then climb aboard. The seas may be rough, but you and your comrade need not fear. You're in able hands. All right. So I'm wondering if this is going to be the final quest for the Warsworn, just like the other quest was the final quest for the Scully Arcana. Look. That's the fortress over there. I wonder what will we find? And what Beeson has already found. Uh, Eamon's Isle. So much majesty. For Eamon's. Though now in ruins. Imagine what it must have been when all of this was glorious and new. I really don't like this armor that I'm wearing. Uh, Beeson. I fear that he's already come and gone, and we still don't know what he wanted here. Oh. Okay. Maybe this isn't the last quest. Uh, where are we going? We must find our way into the fortress. I'm certain that's where they'll be. Okay. Well, maybe I should go around this way first. So this is it. Eamon's Isle. I mean, it is better. We just need to get rid of it. These were once awesome towers and ramparts. Atop each, a banner snapping in the breeze. See where I need to go. There's uh, there's loot to be had, and hopefully, hopefully, that Corthian chest piece, because I'm still holding out hope for that. The stuttering is getting more frequent the further we get into the game. Luxuria. An heirloom of a noble Almain clan until it was lost by its owner in the early battles of the Phalen's War. I'm assuming that's a longsword because it has extremely low damage. 
No, it is a great sword. It's like a face on there, doesn't it? Is, am I looking at it upside down? I mean, it looks pretty cool, but yeah, that damage is awful. There's a chest over here and a shrine. King's Greaves. I don't remember what Mitharu's. Uh, more health regen. For longer, I think they've seen us. You don't say. Yeah, stuttering is really messed up the combos of the great sword. I feel like I'd be performing a lot better if it weren't for the uh for that. Why did Beeson come here, I wonder? What was he after? That fourth hit. Whew. Almost makes me regret not using a great sword from the get go. Almost. I'm still a very large fan of the hammer. Um, I thought I had. I guess not. It's not important. Good job, Gwyn. Seriously, the stuttering seems to be picking up pace. I don't... I've tried everything. I don't know how else to fix it. And again, unless I reinstall every time, because that's the only time it seemed to have uh, been okay for an episode. Darn 
My mother was here, long ago. She saw many ancient places in her time. I will enjoy it. Get my butt handed to me. I'm gonna bet that there's a skeleton back here. Must be something to loot, right? Nope, just a little dead end. First the ancient vault and now here. But what do they hope to find? There are no relics here, only lost knowledge. Knowledge more powerful than any relic. Okay, I uh, didn't like my health was regenerating. Like, I have a ton of health regen. It should be, uh, just... Flowing upward. Is this an extra area? It looks like it. I mean to put that where I did. All right, let's take. Okay, let's uh, keep on trekking. That's disappointing. get out of the way, Gwyn, so I can finish my combo? That'd be great. That would have been great. We should be close to the chapel now. It's pretty cool. Weird they would just leave this place abandoned, though. It's a whole fortress. Oh, 
maybe the location is uh, inconvenient because, oh, you know, isolated on this island. Nope, not what I'm trying to do. There we go. Once again, not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the reckoning mode being activated with the triggers. So I'm holding block and then I want to cast the spell. But it makes me try to go into reckoning mode instead. Look, the chapel of the first look out! <laughs> There's some ambush, <laughs> right? <laughs> Piers of Egan, or Egon. It's Egan. Oh boy. Okay, chapter two. Being the history of Teodar and his defeat of the cultists of Kam Kamazandu. There are evils in this world of such power, of whom even the bravest of war sworn hold in fear. They are the Niskaro lords, and have laid waste to entire civilizations. Brought darkness upon the land as if wielding the very chaos of Telegris themselves. Their touch means endless torment, their mere presence, death and corruption. It is not for mortals to contest the wills of Niskaro lords. Even Amen and Kerwin, of our order the greatest, never match themselves against such a one. They are as gods, and only an immortal dare to face them in combat. It is for this reason that in the days of the First Sworn, one man chose to oppose the craven followers of the Niskara Lords, Teodar, the first champion of the War Sworn. He hunted the slaves of Demon Lords, human, Alfar Gnome, dedicated in body and mind to the spread of Telegris's influence. The disciples of Chaos invoked the demons' names, they practiced the vilest of magics, and the greatest of them all was the mad sorcerer known as Farlong, uh, the Atas Atasane? The legends say that Farlong came from the east, from the sundered steps of Sindrodir. Sindrodir. He bore a mighty chain around his neck and walked with an oaken staff. He professed himself as a holy man in disguise and came to the people in a gentle mind. Or mean. He told them of a great power capable of freeing them from their earthly constraints. He promised eternal life and the power to transcend the mundane reality thrust upon them by the great cycle. Some believed him, and soon Farlong had g gathered a host of devoted servants. The Farlongi. Elsewhere in the Feylands, Igan and the Force Sworn battle demons, unaware of the threat of Farlong and his followers. Their exploits are well known to all. How Adoria slew Terexor, how Lyanna survived the demon walk, and how Argol repelled the host of Xandragar. Farlong saw his chance to strike, and with his fanatical devotees, he began the spell that would summon the most terrible of demon lords, Kamazandu. Teodar of the mountains, who often climbed their heights, came across the mage's summoning. He spied the forces gathering, and knew that doom would soon be at hand. With a calm and steady mind, and a bravery of composure, transcended the mountainside... I say transcended? Descended the mountainside, and went to Andorin, the great blacksmith of Datir. Almighty, oh Almighty oh oh Andorin, whose hammer never falters, whose anvil withstands the strongest of blows, I implore you now, for the sake of Amalur, throw down your earthly works and craft a hammer worthy of the dauntless Aegon. If it is a hammer capable of defeating far along that you require, bring me the plans from Amen himself, for only his knowledge can defeat the power of the Niskaru. So Teodar retrieved the sage's knowledge, and thus did Andorin begin to craft the mystic hammer. While Andorin worked the anvil, and Vlaskar kept the forge, Teodar went to Aegon, who battled demons on the battlefields of Erethil. Teodar knew no sleep, nor pause until he was by Aegon's side. He told Aegon of the threat, but Aegon would not retreat from the battle. If I have been in the field, we will lose this war, and the demons will destroy us all, he said. I'll leave the battle while you conquer this evil, cried Teodar, above the din of swords and demon house. This was Teodar's last act as first sworn. He fell defending the plains of Arathel, holding the Niskaru at bay so Aegon could vanquish Farlong and his followers. Upon his grave, he was honored with the title of Leoden, the leader of the first sworn, 
A shining example of sacrifice for all those who are sworn to war. Warsworn lore. The second onslaught. The first collusion of mages and Iskaru. A guard's betrayal. And the victory of Kerwin's Gambit. A look if I'm not mistaken uh, the first onslaught Warsworn Smiths forge uh, glowing weapons on one side while Aegon and Kerwin uh, lead troops against the Nascaro horde on the other pushing them back into the waters a uh, birth of the first sworn King Aemon stands before the Arathi gate while Aegon his son kneels the other first one encircle the scene Kerwin holding high, high her famous spear plans, written here in our own recorded history. The mural tells of the mage Farlong, who sought to make himself a king of Nascaru, and how Aegon thwarted him. Beeson thinks he will succeed where Farlong failed. And he just might. Uh, then, what, eh, then why did Beeson come here? Because he could not learn what he needed to know anywhere else. Everything he needs is written here, down to the last detail. Uh, far long. Beeson's minions call themselves Far Long Gear. As Beeson does now, the mage Far Long gathered cursed artifacts and used them to raise a host of lesser Niskaru. Do you see? Beeson follows Far Long's path at every step. Uh, we will stop him. I think we must. Far Long tried to free a Niskaru lord from its mountain prison. With such power behind him, he would have been unstoppable. As Beeson seeks to mimic Farlong, so we must match Eamon and stop him. Okay. And a Scarra Lord. A chaotic being of immense power. If it were loosed upon the world... But it must not. It mustn't. But Farlong failed. Yes, he did. The mystic hammer, forged by Eamon for the hands of his son, Aegon. It alone could halt Farlong's spell and restore the Nisgaru Lord to his prison. I know of it, but not its location. But Delfric may be able to help with that. Return to Shieldring Keep. I will travel to Ironfast Keep in Detir and learn all I can. Meet me there. Uh, Farlong. It seems he was a prince whose father squandered and lost his kingdom. He was raised, hunted, and a beggar. Then he found the Niskaru Lord Kamazandu in its mountain prison. It whispered to him, said it could help him win back his birthright. That's how it began. Chapel. In truth, it's as much library as chapel. A place of memory. My mother. She described it so vividly. A Beeson. We didn't find him here, but we did, I think, find something he doesn't want us to know. Pray Matharu, we did not learn it too late. And how can I find this hammer? The mystic hammer is among the few ancient relics named in our records. I am sure. Go to Shieldren Keep, where ancient Delfric can help you find it. I will be at Ironfast, learning what I can. When you have the hammer, find me there. Far along in the Mystic Hammer, a detailed account of how Aegon fought and defeated the Nis Niskaric Mage and would-be King Farlong, using the Mystic Hammer, which was forged for the hero by his father, King Aemon. 
Looks like I'm gonna get a special hammer. I'm excited about that. Hopefully it's better than what I have equipped. I'm not gonna hold my breath. Can I fast travel from here? I said to go back to Shield Ring Keep, which is the one all the way back here. Time to return? Uh, the ship. There was no place safe for landing but here, I'm afraid. Alright, I'm ready to sail. And that's a certain thing then, is it? I think we'll not see this scrap of shore again once we go. No, I'm, I'm ready. Let's, let's get out of here. Yes, I'm ready. Off we go then. As soon as I received news of your discoveries, I learned whatever I could of the Alpha Lord, Admiral Beeson. And what did you learn? He is indeed a powerful man, a member of the Orbacant. Or he was, until he proposed using Nescaro in the war. He was laughed off the council and then vanished, taking some of Rathir's most powerful mages with him. Uh, Farlong and Beeson. So Beeson somehow learned of this forgotten story and the mural depicting it on Eamon's Isle. Devious. Very devious. Beeson was among the powerful of Rathir before the power of Niskaru turned his head. If anyone can complete Farlong's work, it is Beeson. A uh, worse word. What we are. What we once were. Does nothing lie still in this world? We have our honor and our swords. Let us cling to that. Orbicant. The names of those who sit on Rothia's ruling council are beyond secret. However, some old and substantial debts were owed me. An Ascari Lord. Trapped within a mountain? Can we be certain this isn't merely an old legend? But can we afford to take the chance? We need the mystic hammer. Yes, I see. It should be in Aegon's tomb. A last pledge shield none below Oathblade are permitted inside our sacred places. But this is easily solved. For your valor and honor, in the name of the First Sworn, I bestow upon you the rank of Oathblade. Take this as a token of the honor. Now, the tomb lies just south of Ulcerund. It opens only with this key. Proceed to Ironfast once you have the hammer. Egan's tomb. It is a curious fact. For her father, Aegon, Kerwin built a grave fit for a king. While both she and Eamon, her father's father, vanished into the east and were lost to us. Oathblade. Ordinarily, the rank is reserved for proven veterans of the field. There is also usually a ceremony. But that will have to wait, I'm afraid. 
A mystic hammer. The accounts say it was crafted for Aegon himself. None other has ever wielded it, and I'm not sure any other can. It may be for nothing, but I suppose it is the only hope we have. I care when. She died by treachery in Cluricon long ago. Cursed rings turned her comrades against her. And with her death, it is said, the age of the first sworn came to an end. Okay, and then Eamon. Amon. So many mysteries around the founder of our order. Where he learned the secrets of forging and fighting. How he originally came to the Feylands. Where he went alone in his last days. Traveling east beyond Cluricon's eastern mountains. Uh, where's the tomb again? In a narrow pass just south of Ulcerund, into Tyr. The key I gave you unlocks its doors and many of our other monuments and historical places. Once you have the hammer, proceed to meet Gwyn Anwe at Ironfast Keep in Menatir. So if I'm not mistaken, he just and gave us the, the key first. that should unlock... ...these chests to get the uh, Warsworn set. So we'll go check that out real fast. Hospice Gauntlets. Such armor carries the marks and deeds of war-sworn heroes gone before. They watch while spirits guide and protect the wearer in battle. And then if I go to... Is it Helmguard? We should be able to get... I think the last piece, right? Because we got... I think we have three pieces of the uh, war-sworn set. Now we have the helmet. It's I true. think we just got the... Uh, yeah, alright. Yeah, we have the helmet, we just got the gauntlets, and we got another piece from Delfric there. I thought we had two other pieces already. I don't think that we have the chest piece. I wonder if it's better than the Fey Hunter set. I hope that it is. Because I really don't like the way the Fey Hunter set looks, so we'll probably end up swapping it out regardless. Blazoned boots. Alright, let's head back to Canterock and see if we have the full Warsworn set. Then see how it compares to our Fey Hunter set. Alright, so I have three pieces. I need to find the other two pieces. We should have... The Stern Helm. Yep, that's one of them. Then do I need... Gauntlets? I don't remember what the other piece that I... Hold on, I'll just check. No, chassis.
Okay, so it is significantly worse. It does give us more armor, physical resist, and elemental resist when it's all equipped. And gosh darn it, if it doesn't look so much cooler than what I had equipped. Yes, yeah, screw it. You know what? Actually, I gained two armor off of that. So we are at 904. Gonna okay, have like 100 less armor than we had with the Prismere set on, but still, it's uh. This is better. Let's see, we had. I need to equip this again. Let's see. Accessories. Because I lost my plus two to my abilities that the uh, Fae Hunter set gave me. There we go. Now we're looking pretty cool. And I think we have to go to the tier next. Or I could do the DLC next. I think we'll do the DLC next. We'll head to the... Uh, What's it called? I don't know what the island's called, but this it's the De Dead Kel DLC. Let me double check and make sure we don't have any other quests here to do. We do have this. I guess we can talk to this guy real fast. Of magic, masters of spells. What do you want? I'm beset by petitioners these days. Another advocate for this absurd plan to retake Melson Shear, I take it. Yeah, you need to listen to Talera. Look to Rathia's sister across the strait. Her battered walls, her burned gardens, her back broken from a decade of war. We take in refugees. We send them food that we can spare. We try to ease her pain. But for ten years, I stood here and watched her die slowly. And now you, a stranger, think to convince me to commit the whole of this city to saving her because our army's greatest failure has recovered some old relic. Yeah, we can save Mel Senshir. Mel Senshir stands as Rathia's eastern shield. Even now, nearly broken, she still stands. This city can do nothing for the fortress, but perhaps its people can. The wounded we have here wish to return to fight for the fortress one last time. I'll tell them to meet you at the docks, and take this as well from my own collection. May it be of use to you in the coming battle. Aelin's Ring. Uh, the war. Do not speak to me of the war. I am the voice of Rathia, not a general or a fate weaver, nor Lyria herself, who alone controls the outcome. Siege. You carry with you Rathia's bravest sons and daughters. Realize that if you fail to liberate that withered wall, you will have doomed our city as well. Rathir. Rathir has taken in half of Mel Senshir's population as refugees from the war. Orphans fill our poor houses. They've never seen their parents' city and never will. I realize they long for their home, but they need to accept a painful fact. Rathir is their only home now. Mel Senshir is no more. Orbicant. Those who watch and govern Rathia, they sit in secret council. Even their names are unknown, and are thus above corruption and idolatry. Only I am known, the Elund, their voice. I'm Elson Shear. The city of walls is lost to us, and we can afford no more troops for them. Better to muster our forces to counterattack after its fall. Eiland. I am the Elund. Or I speak with the voice of the Orbacart. Within this city, my word is law. Adessa. They have delved earthward where we have lifted high. They think no one watches them because they are thus sheltered. 
The deeper they dig, the higher we will rise. Uh, where's the boat to Melson Shear? Go to the eastern docks in the lower city and find Captain Dodwin. He will oversee your journey to Melson Shear. Okay, uh, Orbicon. They rule Raphir, and they do so from behind a veil. I am their face and their voice. Well, we won't be going to the dock for that yet, but we'll go to the dock for the other quest. The watch sees all. We can go ahead and take care of the uh, dead Kel DLC. Now is not the time for further debate. Go, go. Save our sister across the sea or die. Students of magic. Masters of spells. Tell me what the name of the island is, because I do not remember. Gallows End. Did she have? Uh, let me sell some stuff. Like you've oh yeah, right. Elin's Ring. Plus ten percent physical damage. Plus five percent gold drops. Hmm. A ring made to protect the Elon of Rathir, given in the hopes that its blessings may help save the sister city across the waters. Far, but not wind I'm thinking that I should equip that. I lose a little bit of health, but I should still have maxed out... Protect hidden, yeah. And now do more damage. Alright, I'm gonna call the episode here. In the next one, we will set sail to Gallows End. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys. Yeah. Sorry, she talked and it threw me off guard. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode.